The 805 Focus is brought to you in part by Nonprofit Connect. Nonprofit Connect provides superior leadership tools and resources so nonprofit leaders and board members can make valuable decisions to move their organization forward to a sustainable and vibrant future. More information on services online at nonprofitconnect.org. Welcome everyone to 805 Focus. I'm Dr. Cinder Sinclair with Nonprofit Connect, and we will be bringing you the latest in your favorite nonprofits. So get ready to be inspired. Our special guests today are Jennifer and Yvette with the Housing Trust Fund of Santa Barbara County. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Welcome. So We're delighted for, to be here. Yeah, Very happy thanks to be for here. being with us. Okay, so I'm dying to know all about the Housing Trust Fund of Santa Barbara County. Tell well, us all about it. We're a, a countywide organization okay. and we're, our whole mission is to expand affordable and workforce housing. Hooray for you! Yes! That's a great, <laughs> that's a great ambition. And we do that by providing financial resources to people that, the groups that sponsor and develop affordable housing and we have a very exciting new home buyer assistance program as well. Oh my gosh. Well, I know everybody's going to want to want to hear all the details yes. about that. So tell me how it works. How do people find out about you for one thing? Well, we can they can go on, on online and they can also talk to Yvette about our workforce home buyer program. Yeah. So they go uh, to your website. Yes. And um, and then they maybe contact us or there's a phone number and then they call you, yes. Yvette. Yes. And then I will give them the program guidelines, how it works, and how what we do to help somebody um, get into their first time home. So the whole purpose of the Housing Trust Fund is to help people get into a home that they can afford. And so tell me, oh, let's just pretend that I'm, ring, ring, hello, Yvette. Hi. Tell me all about your program. What we do is we're a nonprofit. We help first-time home buyers buy a new home, um, get in, into an entry-level home. Um, we, uh, we assist with the down payment. We help you with the down payment, and we work closely with the, the first lender in helping you get into your first home. So our loans are up to $100,000 in South County for first-time home buyers. Okay. And it's a fixed rate loan, which is very unusual. Yes. And it's for 10 years for market rate housing and 15 years for affordable units that people can get into. And so how do you determine affordable, just depending on what the market is? Well, yeah, you can buy any home in the re regular private market. And then there's units that um, operated by the city and the county that okay. come up, like the Estancia project that's going up in Santa Barbara that has eight or nine affordable units in that project. And we will make loans to people who are buying those as but well. It's the affordable homes that we, we do the loans for, that we can do the loans for. So we do the market rate and then the affordable uh, rate. Okay. Oh, okay. Home loans. So um, you really help with the down payment? Mm -hmm. Only with the down payment? Yes. Okay. All but right. we well, work that's... in partnership with first mortgage lenders who okay. have pre-approved our program, so it's kind of a whole package. Oh, Someone good. comes in and they're working with a lender that knows about our program, has approved our program, so they get their first mortgage from one of the participating lenders and the down payment from us, and voila, they're into their first entry-level home. That's pretty exciting. Yes. So I bet you have a story or two you could tell us about Maybe someone that you've helped? Yes, one of our first loans was a 29-year-old um, in the financial industry. He bought his first home, it uh, was a condo in Old Town, Goleta. And he came in and he was so excited that we were able to do this program for him. Like, like within, within 30 days, we got him into his first, we worked in conjunction with the first mortgage and we did the down payment and he got into a home he normally wouldn't have probably gotten into because of our help. Wow. And so now he's able to establish roots, start a family, and it's his first home, and then probably move on from there and, and then we can reuse 
that money once he pays it off. Yeah, that's very exciting. So how did he find out about you? How does anybody find out about you? Well, we work with about six uh, first mortgage providers, okay. and so they, they help get the word out. We're also doing outreach. Um, Yvette and I are going out to major employers and doing presentations to the HR departments. Oh, and that's great. Letting, peop letting people know, because this is really good for the business community as mm -hmm. well, to have uh, employees that can purchase a home. It helps the businesses with their recruitment and retention of uh, quality staff. And then it helps the employees, because they can live nearer to work. Instead of, yeah, we're trying to keep the workforce here. Instead mm -hmm. of them commuting in, right. we're trying to help them get into a home that they normally wouldn't be able to afford that down payment. Wow. So, you know, and if they're staying, they're, they're building the employment, they're, building, they're helping with the, the workforce in Santa Barbara County. Yeah, gosh, so needed. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been doing this? Um, well, the trust fund has been operating since about 2004 with our housing production programs. Our workforce homebuyer program started in North County in 2012, mm. and it was so successful. We got 28 families into first-time homebuyer uh, in, in that area. So the board of directors said, let's see what we could do in South County. You know, it's a more expensive market, but mm. we'd like to do that. And so uh, we just launched the program the end of last year, and um, it's kind of now just getting rolling. And um, it's a great program because it's a partnership with not only the mortgage lenders, but also we had uh, five banks that invested in this to provide the capital. Oh my gosh. Yes, so we- That's have, exciting. Yes, so we, w once we do a loan, we still have plenty of money to, to do other loans, but once they pay it off, then that money gets redirected sure. back to another family that might need it. And, and that's the intention, to build this as an ongoing resource for yeah. the community. So we're starting out with three and a half million dollars for the down payment loans, and we'll continue to raise capital as we deploy those funds. Mm -hmm. Gosh. Yeah. Well, I think we're pretty lucky to have you folks around. It was a much, much needed uh, program, and it, we are excited to get, we are really excited for this program and helping families that normally couldn't get into a house um, or the down payment or for the down payment for these type of homes here in Santa Barbara. So if somebody's listening to this and they're thinking, oh, I wish I could buy a house, but mm, no way I could afford that, what would you say to them? I would say there is a program, there is, there is help that we do, we do have resources to help you get into that first time home. And they should call Yvette and talk it over with her or, or contact one of our participating first mortgage lenders. So um, it's surprising with the, some resources that they, the home buyer might have and mm -hmm. our down payment loan up to 100000 So between the resources that the home buyer might have and our down payment loan up to $100,000, we can get some money into an entry-level home in South County. And that's everywhere from, uh, anywhere from Gaviota to Carpinteria, and we also include the communities of Solvang, Buellton, and San Inez. Okay. And so now, I'm sort of understanding that there are two programs here. One is the First Time Home Buyer Program, which I help. And that's what you're in charge of, Yvette. Mm -hmm. And then Jennifer, tell me about your program a, a little bit more. Well, both programs uh, uh, are doing things to expand uh, opportunities, yeah. and the production program is a program we've had for a long time, and that provides loans to sponsors of affordable housing, groups like Habitat for Humanity okay. or People Self Help Housing, different social service yeah. groups that want to, like, build a rental apartment or. Um, you know, self-help home ownership project. We even do group homes. Uh, our most recent loan was to uh, a group that bought a house in San Inez, and that's going to be a group home for medically frail people with developmental disabilities. Golly. So yes. one of our most vulnerable populations. That is just amazing. So now this program is older than the uh, than the one that you're in charge of, Yvette? No, this one, mine started at the end of last year. Okay. 
yeah, the housing production program is our original program, and then and that's um, from two thousand two. About you... well, we incorporated in two thousand two. Our first okay. loan was in two thousand four, and right. uh, so that's been ongoing. And we've over the years deployed over five million dollars in loans, and mm -hmm. we've helped ten different types of projects. And uh, it's been really uh, a joy to be able to help the community groups and to help facilitate their projects. Golly. So are there housing trust funds like yours in other communities, or is this completely unique? There are. Yeah. Uh, there's over 600 housing trust funds nationally. Wow. Yeah. We're a little bit unique in that we're a nonprofit trust oh. fund. Some of them are government. and. Oh. Um, but there's, uh, in the Central Coast area, we have a companion group up in San Luis Obispo. Okay. And then we have one in Ventura as well. So those two, are Ventura and San Luis, are they they're non nonprofit? Yes, they're oh. also nonprofit. And we kind of have an informal network, so oh, we share great. best practices yes. and support each other and, and uh, work on ways to see if we can come up with more resources. Right. That is just wonderful. Well, I bet you have... Another story you could share with us about somebody that you... Well, currently we're working on a loan. Um, we, have a, um, a, we have a family of four. Um, another one's coming along, so it'll be a family of five. They're going to be buying um, a condo in Pulton. Oh. And it's the new development. Oh, gosh. So with our program, they were able to get into this, and with their expanding family, um, get into this new home that they um, now can share and be a part of instead of, you know, renting. Yeah. So are most of the loans made to mm, families with two income generators? Well, the first loan, no. He was 29. Yeah, your first one was Individual. just by himself. Yep. Mm -hmm. But there will be a lot of dual household uh, incomes because of the home prices here, and we know that. But I think. The exciting thing about this program is it does the full range from low income to middle income because we have the, the uh, down payment loans for the affordable units as well as market rate unit. And that's pretty rare to be able to serve the entire working population. Yeah. What wonderful work you're doing. So for instance, we do we have the new project that's on Upper State, the Estancia project. Okay. There was nine affordable units that they have and there was a lotto for that. And so there was two individuals who happened, who happened to get into the lotto and, and, and get picked, um, and they are interested in our program and helping them get into these affordable housing. So we do. We have now we're helping the affordable units who, who want to get into those also. Wow. Okay, so we have about a minute left. Any other things you want to say to the audience before we go? Um, I think part of what we do is build partnerships and to bring more resources, yes. you know, this is such a huge problem, uh, affordability. And so we hope that our program set an example that will involve yes. more businesses, employers, and local government so that we can synergistically combine all of our resources to provide more opportunities for people. Right. Um, that very well said. We need to get your story out there. More and more people need to hear. Yes, and there's three there's three programs. Um, there's also the Carpinteria program, City of Carpinteria, mm -hmm. and also um, they have we have a Lompoc program. Yeah. Well, ladies, thank you so much for your good work, and thank you for being on our show today. Thank you. Oh, thank you. We're very for having us. Pleased to be. And thank you all for joining us on 805 Focus, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>